welcome to Math with Niall. Today we'll be learning how to draw a bar chart. Hi Niall, what information will we be using to draw a bar chart today? We will be using um, the colours of my blocks. So before the lesson you recorded the colours of blocks that you had? Yes. And we can see all the colours there, can't we? Yeah. And can you tell me something about how it looks, the way that you've recorded it? I think it looks very jumbled up and messy. Okay, so what do you think we should do first? We should put it into a tally chart. Okay, and if you haven't seen or doesn't, if you don't know how to do a tally chart... Um, then you can watch one of my previous videos um, where I taught how to draw a tally chart. Okay, brilliant. So can we now start to put this information in a tally chart? How do we do it? Um, so our first one is white. So we'll cross out white and then put it in a, put one stroke in a tally chart next to white. And then our second one, go, we're go, doing it in rows. So my second one is orange. Um, and then, so we've crossed it out and then I'll put it into my tally chart and then so green. So one stroke for orange, yes. Yeah, one stroke for orange and then green, we'll do the same and then pink, we'll do the same and then we'll cross out green, put one stroke to the, put a second stroke to the ch tally chart and then put one purple and then put a white again and then green and then orange so now that we've filled in our tally we will work out our frequency um so on purple we have three um, so we'll put a three next to our three strokes and then on white I believe we have eight so I'll put an eight next to it under my frequency and then on blue we only have one sadly blue is my favourite colour but yeah we only have one and we'll put that one under our frequency and on pink we have six, we'll put that six under our frequency. And on orange we have a whopping twelve, so we'll put that under our frequency. And on green we have ten, um, and we'll put our ten under our twelve. Brilliant, Naya. So what has this tally chart already done? to this set of information. It's made it look a lot less confusing. Brilliant. And now we're going to use the information in this tally chart to do... A bar chart. A bar chart. Okay. Okay, so now that we've done our tally chart, we can fill in our bar chart. Okay, so we're going to use the information to draw a bar chart. What is really important? You always need a title, and our title for today will be Colours of Blocks. Okay, and we're going to have a vertical line and a horizontal line. And what information are we going to put along the bottom on that horizontal line? Um, our colours. So we'll have purple, white, blue, um, pink. pink, orange and green. Brilliant. And what do we need to then do? Um, we need, at the bottom we'll put like colour. Okay, so we need to label. Yeah, we need to label. That set of information, those are our colours, so we need to make sure we put colours there. And what do we have on our vertical line? Um, we have our numbers, 1 all the way up to 12, and which is called our frequency. Frequency. And why would we stop at 12 and not go to maybe 100? Um, because we're only going up to 12. So our maximum number of blocks of any colour was 12, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to start drawing some bars. What's very important? Um, you always have to leave a space. It doesn't have to be one block, but in our version, it's one block. You, but it can, but and the, it always needs to be the same size. 
So it could be this big between them all, or it could be that big between them all. Um, but it still ne all the spaces need to be an equal size. Okay, so we need to have equal spaces between our bars. And our bars also have to be equal. Our bars have to be the same width. width. Okay, so let's show the first bar for purple. So of, can you explain how the bar for purple would look? Um, so for purple we have three, but first we have to skip a space. And then we do our, our three blocks high. Brilliant. So we've got, we draw a bra that goes up to the number three. Brilliant. Yeah. And then what do we do next? We have to sleeve a space. Mm -hmm. And then for white, we'll go all the way up to eight. Brilliant. Spick, skip one column. Okay, a one space. And, and then, then um, our blue, which is one... One little block, which is very teeny. Yes, it is. And then skip another column. And then we have our pink, which is six blocks high. Brilliant. Um, and then we have orange, um, which is 12 blocks high. And then we'll skip one um, column. And then we have green, which I believe is 10 blocks high. Brilliant, Nile. And how does this look to you? It looks, I think it looks, it's not confusing at all, mm -hmm. but it's like you need to, if you don't have some stuff, it's like if you miss some stuff out, then it will be very confusing. Some stuff like what? Like, if you don't do your title, then there's no point of even doing it because you don't know what it's for. It's like if, you have to d use this for your work, but then you don't know what it's about. How are you gonna like fill it in? Exactly. So, if for example, if you didn't have these colours labelled here, how would you know what information the bars was giving us? I mean, you wouldn't. I wouldn't. No. But if you label everything correctly, is it easy to read? Yes. So, if I said to you straight away, what's the most popular? Colour. Orange. What's the least popular colour? Blue. If I said to you, how many does purple and white, how many blocks did you have purple and white in total, what would you quickly do? Um, I would do 3 plus 8, which is 11. 11. So it's very, very easy to read the information here. So before we finish, can you just tell us one more time the important bits that we need to have when we're doing a bar chart? Um, we need our title, we need our frequency, and we need um, our like label at the bottom. It can be colours or animals or whatever. Exactly, what data we're collecting. And tell me about the bars. Um, they need to all have like a space in between and they all need to be the same width. Very good, Niall. And that comes to the end of today's lesson. Bye, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did subscribe now, bye, don't forget to press that like button, bye! <laughs> what in the world was that? At least one of us thinks it's funny. <laughs> Not me. <laughs>